The planet Earth is a magical place where thousands of animal and plant species co-inhabit. It overflows with life. Human beings are not the species with the greatest physical power, however they are the ones with the greatest capacity to create, learn, modify and survive. So, what is meant by species? Species are a set of animals or plants with similar physiological and morphological characteristics and which can breed with each other and produce fertile offspring. To perpetrate life, at a certain point of their growth, bodies with female anatomy menstruate, regardless of where they live, religion, ethnicity, culture, or academic background. There are many different words and about 5,000 different euphemisms for a common process to many species. In mammals, embryological development takes place inside the maternal uterus and during the first steps of that development, nutrients are fed from the uterine epithelium. So, when not needed, this tissue and blood are released during menstruation. It is not impure, dirty, or toxic. <gasps> and what now? What is happening to me? I won't be able to go to school, play, pray, cook. I'll be all alone, sad, locked down. I am ashamed of what happened to me. I don't want to tell anyone, I just want this to disappear. Calm down and take it easy. It's not like that. There's no need to change your lifestyle, your way of thinking or acting just because your body has started menstruating. The first menstruation cycle is a sign that the body is preparing to conceive new lives. It is part of the normal growth of a healthy body and it does not prevent you from going to school, playing, praying, cooking, nor living together as you wish. Traditionally regarded as a sign of womanhood, menstruation does not define the sexual behavior of women and people with female organs. So, come on now, we're going to help you better understand this process. Throughout your life, there is a period of about 40 years in which your body will cyclically menstruate, since Menarche, the first menstruation between 11 and 16 years old, until menopause, the last menstruation, at around 50 years old. But what is happening to me? I'm changing. My body is different. What are those changes? I'm not a child anymore. Why? You must learn to know your body to get to know yourself better and understand what is happening. Listen carefully. The ovary, organs that produce eggs and sex hormones. Fallopian tubes, slender tubes through which eggs pass from the ovaries to the uterus. The uterus or uterine cavity is a muscular organ in which the fertilized ovum implants and develops during prenatal development. The endometrium is the uterine cavity lining. The cervix is the lower, narrow end of the uterus and the vagina is the tube connecting the vulva and the cervix. But it's also important that you get to know the external part of your body. The vulva, the set of external female genitals. The pubis, the mons pubis is a pad of fatty tissue that covers the pubic bone. The clitoris is a primary source of sexual pleasure organ. The vagina is the opening. The urethra is the tube that connects the urinary bladder and the anus is the opening where the gastrointestinal tube tract ends. But attention, these last two don't belong to the reproductive organs. Now that you know your body, you can understand what happens when menstruation occurs. The menstrual cycle averages 28 days, starting with the first day of menstruation. Bleeding occurs for around the first five days. That's what we call menstruation. At this time, in the ovaries, a new ovulum starts its maturation to be released on the 14th day. That's what we call ovulation. At the same time, the uterine epithelium grows, preparing in case a fecundation happens. If so, no menstruation occurs, as this tissue will feed the embryo. If not, it'll be released and a new cycle begins. Further important information is about the hormones that control these processes. These are estrogen and progesterone. They are produced by the ovaries that work together to promote the development of sexual characteristics during puberty and to ensure fertility, egg release and pregnancy maintenance when it occurs. These hormones are also responsible for changes in mood and behaviour, 
which means that you can feel more active in the first phase of the cycle and more relaxed when progesterone not dominates. So, now that you know more about the reproductive system, let's get to know some of the products you can use during menstruation. These are disposable or reusable pads, disposable or reusable tampons, a menstrual cup, or underwear suitable for the period. You can use whatever you want, choose any. You just need to keep yourself clean, comfortable and healthy. We're part of a world that works at different rhythms, we live in different ways and we have different cultures. But although menstruation is common to all and fundamental to the reproduction of the species, it does not mean you have to reproduce nor get married. Our cultures are different, but the respect for all human beings must always be preserved and come before religion, culture or wealth. We're all human. We belong to the same species. Homo sapiens sapiens. Menstruation has always been present in the human species and is common to all people, but is still a target of incomprehension, inequality and discrimination. To understand menstruation deeply and clearly, we have to go beyond dominant preconceptions. Menstruation is not only a female issue, since we are not all binary people. The treasure of difference is part of the greatness of the human species. Intelligence, knowing and accepting are characteristics from our species and have to be present so that we can evolve and stop pointing out differences and discriminating because of menstruation. The differences promote tolerance, respect and humanity. Menstruation, Menstruation is natural. natural. It, it must be an issue and not a taboo. taboo. Pen Period Empowerment Network is a project with 11 participating countries funded by the European Union under the Erasmus Plus programme and which aims to speak openly about the menstrual period. We intend to contribute to its demystification, seeking to improve women's knowledge and awareness of their bodies, as well as to improve the attitudes of young women towards menstrual health and hygiene awareness.